Joe uh, Malouf, owner of the Sacramento Kings, would you please introduce us and uh, introduce us to ourselves and to the Lebanese uh, public? Well, um, it's an honor to be able to um, speak with um, Lebanese people in Lebanon and um, let them know that um, my family is f from Zahle in um, Lebanon and my grandfather and father came across at the turn of last century, came to the United States and settled in a small state in the United States, New Mexico, and started a, a grocery store there in, in New Mexico. And, and then uh, later on in the 1940s and 50s, moved the whole operation to Albuquerque, New Mexico, where we were in the beer business and liquor business and hotel business. And from there in the 60s and 70s, got involved in banking and after that, um, bought a professional basketball team in the late 70s, the Houston Rockets, while my father was still alive. Then two or three years after we bought the Rockets, he passed away and um, we sold the team and concentrated on our businesses in New Mexico and Arizona and California. And um, after that, uh, always wanted to get back into the NBA and um, this uh, opportunity here with the Kings presented itself about four years ago. My brother and I and the rest of the family purchased the Sacramento Kings and now uh, we're the owners. <laughs> Let, let's get back a little bit to 30 years ago. Okay. While you were still a young boy, mm -hmm. uh, what are your souvenirs from that time about Lebanon? Did, did you talk about Lebanon at that time? At that time? Absolutely, my, my grandfather and, well, actually my dad. Uh, my, I was a, uh, really young when my grandfather died, but my dad had uh, fond memories of Lebanon and loved the Lebanese people and very proud of his heritage. And, um, uh, you know, I'm actually three quarters Lebanese and one quarter Irish. So he used to talk. <laughs> my father was full blooded Lebanese. My mom is half Irish, half Lebanese. And,. Um, he just used to talk about how friendly the people were and how hardworking people of Lebanon are and how smart they are. And, and the Lebanese people are very smart business-wise. They have a, a great business acumen. And, they're, and they're, he taught me about catering to customers and take, taking care of your customers. And he learned that from his father in Lebanon when they were in business, how they catered and took care of customers and knew that um, it was important to be nice to people and, and kind of those philosophies have carried on with me f throughout my life. How much did you, did you relate to Lebanon at that time? Well, you know, I was very young and... Uh, what, what was it story that you, just that you to, were hearing or uh, did you feel yourself a little bit uh, some belonging to... Uh, to no, the, I've, always, I've always been proud of my heritage and, um, you know, I love <laughs> Lebanese food. My grandmother made it. Both my grandmothers, you know, the kibbe and everything, and the the grape leaves, and and my mom's a great Lebanese cook, and you know, I, I and so, you know, something about Lebanon was always with our family throughout the years of my childhood and youth is that I've always felt close to that country, even though I've never been there, and um, unfortunately, I, I someday I want to go there and and, and see the country because I've heard so many wonderful things about it, how beautiful it is. And uh, there near the Mediterranean, you know, I'm, I'm anxious to go to Beirut and parts of Lebanon. So hopefully maybe next year I can I can visit. 